Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and a little gameplay on my trusty Vic 20 a cartridge game, Raid on Fort Knox uh, I see this came out in 1981 uh, sort of a maze puzzler and uh, the object of the, of the game is to collect gold bars um, sneak through, collect them and uh, escape with them and collect as much as you can before the time runs out I see uh, that they say in the manual that there are panthers, deadly panthers that patrol this maze and uh, you're going to earn dollars for each gold bar that you manage to remove. So nothing like a little bit of thievery uh, <laughs> in a gameplay. Um, so yeah, let's try out this little game and uh, see what it's like. Okay, press F1 to start. Let's get into this game. I see it is joystick controls, fortunately. And oh, listen to that sound. What do I say? It actually moves quite quickly, smoothly. And I must say, the Panthers don't look like Panthers. And I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking like. Is that little man that's leopard crawly all over the place? I've got another gold bar. I must say, I do like the, the way it builds a little bit of tension as the timer is counting down. The sound is actually pretty effective in ensuring that uh, it builds that little bit of tension. Ah, okay. Bonus maze. Oh, look at that pink color. Ah, I have two panthers. To me, they look more like moles <laughs> than anything else. Look, a very simple concept, but I must say it's actually done very well. I never played this game back in the day. The only game I, I recall playing at my cousin's place on the Vic 20 was um, Centipede. I really enjoyed that on the Vic 20. And obviously, the Vic 20 being very limited in the amount of memory that it has. I'm sure these cartridge games would have cost quite a penny back in the day. It is great to be able to play instantaneously the tension is now starting to build. I see people making it pretty easily with the, the timer. It's not giving me more than enough time to get back. One more gold bar for this level. Oh, lime green. That is so bright. So now we've got three panthers patrolling the screen, making it a little bit more difficult. It's still pretty easy so far. Oh, that was close. Come on. Yeah, a little bit. Bonus maze. Now we've got four panthers. And bright red. I 
say they could have done the, the level design could have been a lot better here. All mazes have been very, very similar. Thousand six hundred and thirty two points is not bad. I don't ever recall playing anything similar to that. doesn't change a hell of a lot. I wonder if it's randomly drawn, maybe. And now we have five panthers. Finding a gap through there is not so easy now. Ah, that is more my choice to get rid of anything else. Well, that's game over. So raid on Fort Knox. I must say, quite a fun little game. I mean, if you take into consideration what they managed to do in the limited amount of memory that they have, um, it plays well, uh, moves well, the sound uh, a little bit irritating at times, but it does actually benefit the game, it does build a lot of tension. So I actually really enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and uh, give it a try sometimes, uh, sometime, uh, Raid on Fort Knox for the VIC-20. So guys, cheers from me, and remember, keep it retro.